Hey, let me take the mic off the stand. How's it going, everybody? My name is Malcolm um, Tucker. And in case you're wondering, no, I am not Denzel Washington's stunt double. Um, I know you were, I just wanted to clear that up before I started, you know, in case you had any questions, but I am not. Anybody have a Facebook in here? You guys got a Facebook? You guys have a Facebook? You know, I used to have a Facebook, but you know, too many women wanted my body, you know. They're treating me like I was a piece of meat, you know, so I had to deactivate it. But de deactivating your Facebook is very, very difficult. Facebook is not making it easy for you to deactivate Facebook. It's easier to leave a street gang than it is to leave Facebook. <laughs> All right, let me tell you. I, I pressed the deactivate button. Facebook said, hey, Malcolm, what about Sharon? Sharon's going to miss you. Don't you like Sharon? What about Sharon? I'm like, no. Sharon never liked any of my pictures. Sharon doesn't even know who I am. Fuck Sharon. I hope Sharon dies tonight. Shit, Facebook. So I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I ran away from Facebook, you know. But I'm an adult now. I just turned 21, you know. Thank you for caring, everyone. I just turned 21. And as an adult, I like to, you know, engage in adult activities every now and then. Once in a blue moon, I like to go to a strip club, you know. Not much, maybe four, four or five times a week. You know, it's not a problem. But every now and then, and I noticed something about strippers. These strippers are very needy people. They assume too much. Hey, what you got? You got $20? You got $50? Or oh, you got $100? What you got? I'm like, bitch, I don't even have a job. I live with my mom still. I'm not even supposed to be at the strip club right now. Strippers are way, way too needy people, man. And I noticed something else. These strippers probably came from like broken homes, man. Their parents are broken up. Their father figure wasn't around. And I'm thinking, if I, had, if I was to have a kid right now, I'd be a horrible, horrible, horrible father. Because what if I had a daughter? What if she was an ugly daughter? What am I gonna do with an ugly daughter, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna have to lie to her face every single day. Hey, dad, am I pretty? Ooh, I can't answer that question. Oh, I can't answer that question. You know, I treat it like it's an SAT question or something. I, I'll just skip it and go to the next one. I'll just skip it. I'll be a horrible, 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 horrible father, man. Anybody, um, anybody like history out here? Anybody like history? Yeah, history. You guys know Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Jr. You guys know him? That guy? He was a pretty cool guy. But have you noticed? Have you noticed whenever he was making speeches, he sounded like he was one of those really, really corny ghosts from Scooby Doo? Have you noticed that? Can you imagine him at a drive through at McDonald's? This is Martin Luther King Jr. at a drive through at McDonald's. Yes, and I would like a number two. Cause I know that one day I can have a vanilla milkshake inside of my chocolate palms. Because of freedom. And that's about it. That's my Martin Luther King impression. Um, I guess I got to work on that one still. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. My name has been Malcolm Tucker. My name is Malcolm Tucker. And it will always be Malcolm Tucker. I am the one and only. Thank you guys very much.